new True Bend 7050, the latest addition to the press brakes from Trump. Now, yeah. what's new about it? Um, well, this one's 500 mil millimetres longer, so it's a 1500 millimetre bed. It's 14 tonnes more, so it's 50 tonnes instead of 36. It's now using the touch point control, which is incredibly simple to program. You can use bend graph on it, so you can draw the product, which would then give you the blank size and the bending sequence. And you can also use Texone bend, so you may import a customer's DXF into the machine and it automatically generates a program for you. So let's start with the capacity, the extra capacity and weight. I mean, how does this benefit the end user apart from the obvious really? Well with the 7036 you might have been limited to the thinner materials um, because of the tonnage generated. You might not be able to generate enough tonnage to bend some of the thicker materials. With this, because you have the extra 14 tonne and the extra width, it's a lot more versatile in the amount of work that you could do it. It's electric, so it's, I believe, 40% cheaper to run with a big hydraulic brake on the top for safety um, and the touch point control, which is incredibly easy for the less skilled operator of brake presses. Now, before we get to the touch control, what about the tooling and the programming of the tooling and, and, and the new features that effectively save time in setups? Yes, well, all of Trump's tools are automatically stored in a library inside the machine. So you just select which ones you own so that you don't have to keep switching through a big long list of tools. You select it. The zero point is central, so you can turn the machine, the punch right round. Um, hydraulic clamping, which isn't a new feature, but it enables you to just easily click the tools in and turn them around for whatever your job might require. Customers are they're building much more complex shapes these days um, and much more higher quantities, so the speed of this machine is ideal for those purposes. And you've also got a new feature in which the bed moves? It's a new feature to something in this range. It wasn't available on the old 7036, but now effectively you can use two different height tools and move one of them out of the way, which would enable you then to do uh, pick up a job and finish it on one machine, as opposed to having two machines set up with two different sets of tooling in them. And that's a huge saving. Of course, because the other person could be making something else while you can finish the job here. Plus, in most cases it's the overall dimension which is the most important so you have to finish the job before you can measure the overall and now the one person you pick it up once you put it down once completed as opposed to moving it somewhere else in the factory and it being finished by somebody else. So with all these advancements onto one product and you know the advancements from the previous product let's get on to how easy it is to program and how easy it is to pick this up. Okay. Um, it's extremely easy. I mean, we do with the purchase of the machine. We offer three days training, very comprehensive training. We spend a lot on the manual side, which is one bend only. Then we teach people how to put more than one bend together, and then more than one station across the machine. And in regard to the touchscreen programming, how simple is that? Very simple. You can just draw a shape now, um, designate a tool and then watch the program being generated by the machine where it put all of your retractions in, um, your X dimensions, your Z dimensions um, and it lights up to show you where to put the tools. So effectively with all these technological advancements that you've made ultimately you're just going to be saving the end user a lot of time and money. Also from the programming point of view that you might not have to have such skill in the programming room which is often off of the shop floor it could all be done here at the machine